Hey guys, have you ever wanted to put a nice 50 foot vacuum hose in your garage? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be adding a 50 foot hose to my little vacuum right here. It's a five horsepower, five gallon Crackman with remote control, wall mounted. And I've been using it a lot, you know, to wash our cars here. And uh, my son actually takes it with him. He's been detailing cars uh, as a part time. He still goes to school. It's a great little vacuum cleaner. So I've been, you know, you, we always got to take it off the wall. Uh, you know, I've been using this extension cord, at least for here, you know. And uh, there you go. And then, you know, the same thing, you know, pull out the extension cord, take out the vacuum. So we, we want to put the, the 50 foot hose right here. So it's easier, just turn on the vacuum and then, you know, you could clean all the cars inside the garage or outside the garage. So 50 feet is, should be more than enough. And that's what I'm going to be doing. We're also going to be removing this blower from Ego, which we also use for drying the cars, which is actually amazing. So that's why I bought this cabinet behind me. This is going to be only for landscaping stuff. We're going to have the blower and we're going to have that trimmer. So we're going to have a nice clean look here uh, with, with the 50 foot hose. I do want to keep my lawnmower right here, um, but it is kind of big. So, you know, we'll see how we'll play by ear. If, if worst scenario, if it's too big, then I just put the lawnmower on the other side of the you know of the cabinet which is no big deal I got plenty of space and that's it but I've been wanting to do this for a while I already have the 50 foot hose for the car wash mounted on the wall from also from Cox Reels and uh, it's absolutely amazing uh, I'll, so, uh, I'll put the link below all right guys so what we're gonna be doing is obviously taking this out oh that was easy if you ever do any car stuff this blower is amazing they actually sell uh, not by Ego, by an aftermarket company, a small little nozzle, and it's fantastic for uh, drying cars. My son uses it, and he loves it. So I might get the little shorty, but like I said, I use it every day here on the house. I have a lot of you know trees and leaves, so the, that's the reason why I mounted it there and not inside of the cabinet, but I am going to put it inside the cabinet. Uh, it just takes it one second to open the door and grab it. And uh, this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, I have a review on it and uh, you know check out the links below or the in screens and this is a beast all right same thing as, the, as this hedge trimmer from ego great products i've been going electric so i am doing some you know uh, reviews on these guys fantastic all right so you know i use these guys for everything i put the link below home depot they have the bigger uh, uh head on it so it's kind of like having a washer concrete I use this to like, you know, anything that has to do with concrete, this is what I use. I don't use the blue ones. They usually snap a lot easier. I, I've yet to snap one of these guys for some reason. I don't know why. They, they seem to be stronger. Um, so for, yeah, for anything that has to do with concrete, this is the ones that I use. I'll put the links below. Absolutely amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this little guy. Yeah, this is a great little vacuum. I don't think they sell them anymore. It has the wireless, so you could turn it on manually or with a little remote control, which is pretty cool. I don't know why I stopped uh, selling it. Uh, I, bu I bought it at Sears when Sears was open. Uh, all the Sears stores around here have been closed, and you see it comes with a little, you know, uh, you know, wireless setup, which uh, I'm probably going to take off from here and mount it on the other hose, because uh, this this hose is kind of weird for the cars. It's like too, it's too big. It's like too long. I don't know for some reason. So. Yeah, all the accessories go here, so I'm gonna basically just leave this section here on the wall. But I'm first gonna mount the, the you know the cox row right here, and then I'll I'll mount this little thing. But I'll I'll, I'll remove it now. So. So I hope I can take this from here. Oh yeah, I can take these little screws out. All right, and then probably pop this. I'm gonna put this a little higher, just temporary, using one of the same screws.
I was gonna do, I was gonna use the flexible hose, which fits perfectly, but this one is actually very, you know, it's a very, I guess, too flexy. So then when you turn the vacuum on, it just like shrinks. And then, so what I'm gonna do is, instead of doing this, I'm gonna try it with the PVC base on it. So I went in, bought some PVC from Home Depot. Uh, I was gonna buy, there's a couple couplers you could buy and use them, but they're, you know, 13, 20 something dollars each. So uh, with, the, with these couplers here that I bought at Home Depot is super inexpensive. Then I'm gonna go ahead and paint them flat black so it should be fine. And I uh, pretty much got it almost, you know, done. I just wanted to get an idea um, as clean as possible. I want to have access to my, um, you know, extension cord here and the battery uh, charger for the Ego. So I'm just going to make it sim simple where if my son needs to take the vacuum for whatever, you know, whenever he does the detailing, just pop this out. And that's it. The only thing I had to do is basically heat up this corner right here so it could fit into the Cox reel. Um, and that's it. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and glue everything together and paint it black and then then we'll be done. All right, so let's get to it. The piping is done. All I got to do is uh, paint it black. I want to do a little flat black to it and I'm going to, you know, rough uh, sand some of the little rough edges of the pipe uh, so it looks a little smoother and that's pretty much it. There's no there's no leaks. It's perfect and, you know, I think that I kind of, you know, shaped it. I wanted to push back this section here, I didn't want it as much out, so I could have access to my electrical uh, extension cord. And that's pretty much it. All done just use the vacuum as you can see it's fantastic lots of fun now I can get my garage uh, you know cleaner a little bit faster with the hose it's just so easy and just takes a minute just roll it back in and you're good to go so one of the things I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna get the adapter for the hose so I can use it with my DeWalt table saw some of the sanders when I do little um, you know DIY projects in the garage I can use the vacuum system and I don't have to have the you know the vacuum itself you know, rolling around, you know, with the, with the extension cord, things of that nature. All you're gonna have is one hose, and you're good. And you could, you know, snap it in into the equipment. I'll put some of the links below. So if you have any type of equipment, like you know, Makita's or you know, Dewalt, Milwaukee, you could use this uh, Sentex system, and it'll plug right into it. So that's another little bonus. But great, super happy. Uh, thank you for joining. Don't forget to like and follow. So to the next video.